Hey guys and gals, this is my usual morning routine for when I get ready before work. I like to say that it takes a good 10 minutes, but you'll see the whole process as we go along. I do start off by switching into the shirt that I want to wear because I don't want to have my face clean and my hair done and then mess it up by putting a shirt on. So I brush my teeth for a good two minutes and I try to hit every crevice of my mouth because you know, good hygiene is key. Then I wash my face with foaming cleanser to get rid of all the impurities and gunk that has gathered through the night from sleeping. I also use the sleeping mask that sits on my face during the night, so I do want to wash that off as well. I use a brand called Innisfree. It's a Korean brand. I feel like this product gives me a great glow in the morning. And then I start doing my hair. I want to make sure that I look somewhat decent before work. So I have had the same haircut and same hairstyle somewhat for the past couple of years. And I do have a facial routine in the morning. It's not that drastic, but it mostly consists of a green tea serum initially, then an eye cream, and then some SPF lotion before I go into the sunlight. So as you can see, I try to massage into my face. So I hit my face a couple of times and I try to get it to be absorbed into the skin. That way I can feel much more rejuvenated and my skin looks healthy. And I've been holding on to this routine for a couple of years now. So what you're seeing here is how I usually get ready in the morning for work. It's a weekend day so it's not really that busy and there's not really much people around so they let us wear jeans at that time. So as you can see here, this is my hospital and my title. But the title is just there. At the moment, I'm still a pharmacy intern. I really haven't taken my boards yet and I'm studying for it. It's so cold. But hopefully everything else should be the same. <laughs> my morning drive to work from my house to the hospital on a Saturday should be around 17-20 minutes and because of a uh, coronavirus it's uh, become shorter and uh, it's really not that bad on I've been doing this for years um, either working at my New York Presbyterian uh, Cornell chemotherapy job um, as an actual intern. I've been there for about three years now. I used to work additionally on Sunday at Memorial, Memorial Sloan Kettering on Sundays. And then during school, during the week, um, depends on how many days of work I want to do. I normally have around three to four days of work so I mix in um, maybe one hospital twice a weekend one hospital once a week but my weekends are really all normally filled it just depends on how you want to deal with pharmacy school and how you want to um, finish through everything because the incentive is that I did all of this because I got the hours I needed so I could take my compounding exam earlier. You needed around 10, uh, 1040, so 1040 hours of actual intern time after you get your license for internally, for, in, for intern license. And you know, you just gotta do what you gotta do. I mean, there are kids that are not really doing that, but everybody has their own different path. For me, I felt like I would get more stuff done if I was um, working and it, it allowed me to, fi to fill up my schedule a lot more often and also it covers a lot of, uh, it covers a lot of uh, my needs for money, especially working two hospital jobs. Um, we pay well and um, I never really had a complaint. Make sure. Just making 
making sure that I have my my N95 mask and my regular mask for delivery today because um, delivery is pretty pretty much the same every single week. I used to, I normally compound, but, um, but it depends on who's there with you. And my coworker likes to compound more than she likes to deliver, so she. I normally have only one mask on, but um, I try to put something over my original one because I had to use it for a longer period of time, so I don't want the top layer to get dirty. 
well, the top layer is protected enough because it's covered. And then the inside one is the one that I use. So I try to prolong my use of uh, PPE because, you know, it's getting a little hard. So hopefully everybody can hear me, but I parked. Now I can get to walk to the hospital. It's kind of hard to breathe, I'm not gonna lie. Welcome to the front of my hospital. This is the main entrance. This is where everybody goes into the hospital and gets their first mask for the day. I normally have a couple of minutes before I start work. So today I got myself some coffee and a cookie just as a mini breakfast for myself, just to pick me up. Normally I don't have anything to eat, but today I was feeling a little hungry, so I decided to buy something from the little coffee shop that's in the hospital, just to hold me over until the end of my shift. It's time for me to deliver, so now I'm removing my original mask and I can put on my N95 mask that my manager gave me. That way I can utilize it for my delivery and my run. As you can see here, I'm putting on my mask. I washed my hands before this, so don't worry. And that's a clean chemo glove as well. So I want to protect myself, so I initially put this on and just to help it not get dirty, I use a surgical mask on top of it, making sure that it's closed all over my face. That way nothing can get in, nothing can get out, hopefully, and I can deliver all the meds for the day. On my way to deliver things, not really busy today, but still a lot of stuff to do. This is my cart. And um, this is the hallway. Normally the deliveries go up from my third floor to the 10th floor. But today I'm delivering for some COVID patients. So it'll be the 5th, some on the 10th, 11th, and the 14th. So it's not that bad. At least I'm uh, properly PPE'd. Look how cute. There's motivational words posted on every window. Like, praise, you are amazing. And look at the view. Little things like these, it's cute. It's posted everywhere around the hospital. To show appreciation. And I don't have a few little kids today. Just finished my run. It took me about an hour and a half to finish all of it, so it's not bad. So now I'm gonna go back and hopefully there's stuff to do. Let's see. See you soon. So it's 3.30 and it's the end of my shift. So, I mean, it's not a long day, but I managed to finish. It's not bad. So now I'm going to go clock out. Look, I even reached a goal today already. So today was not bad. Uh, mostly did deliveries, but managed to go around. Bye! Bye!
I just clocked that. Oh. And then I'm going to my car. So see you in a bit. So busy today. Anyway. So as I was saying, just found out that New Jersey is offering emergency licenses to pharmacy students and health professionals. So that's what I have to look forward to when I get home in order to apply. So hopefully I can do that. And then I can do New York as well. Maybe get a head start compared to the other students. Because you know, pharmacy school and any other type of general schooling costs a lot of money, especially if you take out loans or if you take out one loan, it doesn't matter. You're still gonna accrue some sort of uh, interest by the time you finish. And it'll always be more than what you started with. So hopefully that goes. And then, and then today, uh, not bad. I did around, what was it, eight? Eight and a half, half hours of work and uh, wasn't that busy still had a lot of COVID patients but uh, it was not bad overall I think time passed pretty quickly um, it was mostly spent uh, delivering um, managing inventory and stuff normally on a Saturday I would compound and make medications instead of deliver but today was a different story not bad the usual days of overseeing so, slash intern slash pharmacist for the weekends so is the same because um, it's usually the same thing going every single time especially if you're specialized and I like I am in chemo that's mostly what I do. So I don't handle any of the general medications not as often, but I do handle a lot of chemotherapy. So there's, it's like a whole, whole idea in and of itself. Not bad. So it's not bad. So now I got the... So now I gotta walk to my car. I parked uh, maybe four streets, but four avenues away, so it should take me about 10 minutes. It's not bad. Um, and then I'm going to go home. After going home, uh, I have to wash all this clothing because I don't know what I have on me. I gotta make sure that all my clothing is washed. I gotta work out. I gotta eat some things because I'm starving. I didn't eat any lunch today. Um, probably study. After studying, hopefully, maybe work on, work on a, a video, editing. So that's what I plan on doing for the next couple of weeks. Work, study, edit videos, record, uh, work out. So those five things. As long as I can keep my schedule open and manage it well, I think I should be good. So catch you when I get home. Hey guys, so not much has changed since I got out of my car to the house because I have a strict regimen um, from the car to the house. I normally just go directly to the shower, making sure I don't touch random stuff or bump into anything and remove all the clothing that came with me from the hospital to the house. And then I do my laundry immediately right after. 
um, I shower. And then once I do that, you can see the laundry is over here behind me. I want to make sure that all that clothing is washed and decontaminated before I use it again. And also that it doesn't touch anything else afterwards. And after this, it's mostly the rest of the day is free for me. Um, I normally work out right after this. Maybe make a smoothie, maybe eat something. Because, you know, it's been a long day of work. And thanks for tuning in to my video. I um, wanted to show, showcase all of you how everything happens in my life as a pharmacy intern. And hopefully you got something out of this. And I'll be posting more videos every week. So if you do like this video, please like and subscribe. And Or if you want, give me a thumbs up. And I'll try to post as much as I can for you guys with the quality that you deserve. Thanks. Bye.